Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be about while loops. You should already be familiar with the concept of loops and what they are from your prerequisites to this course, but we're going to talk about how to do them in JavaScript. To do that, we're going to get the JavaScript console and we're going to talk about loops. So first off, why do we use loops? The purpose of loops is to do repetitive tasks over and over again without having to actually hand write the code out. It helps us write dry code where we're not repeating ourselves. For example, what if we wanted to log the numbers 1 through 10 to the console? To do this without loops, we'd have to do console.log0, or 1 if we're starting at 1. Console.log2. Rinse and repeat. And you have to do this all the way up to 10, which is annoying but not undoable. But what if you have to log 1 through 100,000? That's not even really possible without actually looping it or else you'd spend months writing your code. So we're going to use while loops. The syntax for a while loop is while whatever condition do something and then close. The way this works is that as long as this condition right here is true, it will continue to run this loop over and over again. It will run everything between these curly braces. As soon as it gets to the bottom, it'll jump back up to the top and do it again over and over and over again indefinitely until either this condition becomes true or is the case sometimes it runs out of memory and the browser crashes. For example, if we wanted to print the numbers 1 through 10 to the console, one way we might be able to do it is using a while loop. So let's do let number equal one and then while number is less than 11 console.log one or number and then we need to increase number by one so the plus plus just like in c plus plus increments by one so close boom so we printed all of our information to the console and all we did was write a few lines of code instead of having to write it all out. If we wanted to, while num is less than 100, boom, goes all the way. Notice that it only went to 99 because it checks the condition first and if the condition is true, it'll run. If it's false, it won't run. So when num was 100, this condition was no longer true, so it did not run. So if you want it to include that, you'd do less than or equal to. And that way it would print 100. By the way, in case you're wondering why is this last the last number on each one being put in twice, that's because it's returning this. We haven't talked about returning. Again, if you have this in your background, that's what it's doing. If not, we'll talk about returning later. One thing to watch out for with any type of loops, but especially while loops, is infinite loops. This happens whenever this condition right here, whatever this condition is, never becomes false. So this can happen if you don't increment your num in here. Now, if I just ran this, I'm not going to because it would crash my browser, but if I just ran this, it would run forever and ever until it runs out of memory and the browser crashes. Now, modern browsers oftentimes have little checks in them to stop that from happening and it'll tell you, hey, something's wrong, don't do that. But if this happens to you and you know you run your while loop and it just sits there and sits there for a second and you're like, what's going on? You probably have an infinite loop. You need to cancel it, close your browser as quickly as you can so that it doesn't cause any problems. So we can do a lot of cool stuff with while loops. One thing we can do is print stuff to the console or we can do things with numbers. Another thing we can do is kind of iterate through a string. So const dude equals um, baby Yoda. I've been watching the Mandalorian lately. So. so baby Yoda is dude. So let i equal zero while i is less than dude not length. console.log dude i and then i plus plus. What this is going to do is it's going to, as long as i is less than the length of baby Yoda, we know the length of baby Yoda is going to be 9. So as long as i is less than 9, it will loop through and it'll do this. What it's going to do is it's going to console.log the ith number or the num, whatever number i is letter in dude. So you should see Baby Yoda printed to the console one on top of each other. There we go. Baby Yoda. 
So that's one thing we can do. We can do a lot of more interesting and actually useful things with this, but we're not going to really get into that until we start building things. But you just need to know what a while loop is, and this is in the syntax for a while. Open parentheses, condition, close parentheses, open curly braces, put all your code, close curly braces. And it will do that indefinitely until this is no longer true. So while this is true, run this code block over and over and over again. One thing to note, there's also the do while loop, do while loop. Um, we're not going to cover that because it hardly ever comes up. Basically what that does is that runs your code and then checks. So instead of checking first and then running the code, it would run the code and then check. So that way you're guaranteed to run it at least once. That's just another way to do it. We're not going to cover those in this course, but you're welcome to look them up. I almost never use them. They're very, very rarely used. Usually you can get by with a while loop or even just a for loop, which we'll talk about in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.